morning. Thank you. So we are at Lot Mayor's show, right? And it's an opportunity for us to just um, um, depict what Lagos is all about. Lagos, for ex I mean, um, to, to set it straight, is the largest um, city in Africa, right? It's the, it's the biggest economy that is a sub-national in Africa. And all we're trying to do is to be able to um, let the world know that Lagos is indeed ready for bigger business. It's a big mega city on its own right now. But we want to make it, you know, one of the international financial centers in the world, right? And it's only at the event like this, competing with other bigger cities and other nations that you can get to tell your story. So it's storytelling time for us, but really, really, I'm leading from the front for um, everyone in the world, truly, really, to use the Lord Mayor's show, who we're drawing in partnership to be able to say that Lagos is indeed ready you know, to take over the world, you know, in the financial space, you know, in the economic space, and to truly, really be able to tell both the Lagos, the Nigerian, and the African story. So that's why we're here, and we're truly excited to be part of this show. What does it mean for Nigeria to be here? Well, I mean, it, it means a lot. We will we, be the very first state, you know, this is the first time Nigeria is, is showing, you know, um, at, at the Lord Mayor's show. Um, there, few, there have been a few other countries that have turned around, right? And so there's no better time, you know, and we, we need, we need, we're going to make the best out of it, right? and be able to, you know, let other parts of the world know who we are, understand our culture, understand that we are the center of, you know, culture, entertainment, music, in the whole of Africa, and to also be able to, for people to know, you know, um, what we have, you know, to give to the world. You know, London, gave me a different dimension towards life. And um, before I go about talking about every other thing, I want to say welcome to the Lagos Diaspora Connect event. Give us a round of applause again. Now, why is this event so important? It's an opportunity for you. Should I go up there? Maybe. Okay, this will be better. Um, yeah, that's better. So I said, why is this event so important? It's because it's an opportunity for you, the diaspora, to meet with those people who are serving you in the Labour State government. And that was my vision. That's the vision of Dr. Wajide Sawaru, who has facilitated this event to happen. He wants to see a connection between his government and you, the diaspora. In all honesty and sincerity, he's the most proactive governor when it comes to diaspora engagement. You may feel we're not doing enough, but we're actually doing much more than many people in Africa. We want to connect with you. We want to see that your investments are properly made in Lagos and your integration in the city is actually very seamless. I would like to make some introductions here right now. Um, but I have to come down again. In this August audience in November, we have um, some honorable members seated here um, representing the executive, um, when I say the cabinet of Lagos, the executive arm of the Lagos State Government, they consider you so important that when they left all what you were doing to come and be part of you. Have you ever seen, give us a round of applause, please. I don't think there's any other states who have brought at least six, seven cabinet members here. So I'd like you to visit them one after the other. You have an opportunity to ask business investment questions. Please, I know politics is all about life, but let's keep politics um, away for a minute or two. Let's talk about how we can do business. Or do you guys want to invest in politics? Or you want to invest in business to profit your life? Business. Business. Very, very good. Thank you so much. So we're going to do this one, it will be um, people one after the other, not by any um, rank, but um, by just um, coincidence and um, maybe beauty and um, good looking. <laughs> so she already knows. I would like to, first of all, introduce, or oh, she needs the introduction, she wants to do that song. Uh, I'm not sure. Ladies and gentlemen. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Mom. Thank you. I like when I say good evening. I want the audience to always understand so that I know that you're actually good evening. Thank you. My name is Toke Benson. I will you can. I'm the Honorable Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture in Lagos State. I want to give you a special advisor housing in Lagos State. So I know that um, a lot of questions or matters will come up on housing and I'll be available to actually answer any of your questions and see how best we can serve you as a state government. And then on our heritage as well, I'm sure you saw us all looking beautiful yesterday on that uh, uh, in that procession. Yes. So, um, Jermaine and I are going to be working together, very closely together, to make sure that our people are not called diaspora people because we are Lagosians and Nigerians. Yes. So, when we say diaspora, it seems like you are very, very far away from us. We don't want you to be far from us. Government is about the people, government is the people. And I always tell people when they say, oh, our leaders, who are the leaders? We are the leaders. There's nobody ahead of us, either age-wise or leadership-wise. It is what we say, what we do, and what we think that shapes what goes on in our country. So, full engagement is what we're here for. And thank you again for having us here. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, um, at some point in time, I'll probably hand you the mic over to the Toastmaster by excellence. Mr. Dai Oluma, and we're still recognition. You know, he's a mentor, he's a great friend. Yes, yes, so. He's talking a lot of what I'm doing, so I don't know if I should yield the floor to him. Okay, let me give the floor to the first part of himself, Mr. Dai Oluma. No, sorry, Dr. Dai Oluma. Thank you, Jamin. Uh, permit me to stand on existing protocol. Good evening, all. Good evening, sir. We are extremely delighted to of this gathering, Connect Lagos, yes. put together by Johnny and the executives of Lagos. So we are very, very delighted to have you here. And what we are going to do is that we want this to be an interactive session. We want you to engage the executive from the cabinet members from Lagos State. I'll be giving the microphone to them one by one for them to introduce themselves. Uh, permit me, if I do not follow protocol, I know that my brother, I've known him forever. You see, when your friends are now, when level change, <laughs> eh? oh. and they are now, so you have to be very, I can't even call him Jamin, Jamin again. Yeah. My friends, I have to call him on the yes. And the deputy chief of staff, we were in East London together, uh, when I was in the University of East London, <laughs> Microphone to introduce themselves and just say a few words about themselves. Mm -hmm. After that, I will just introduce some people in the in the audience or give you the mic. Then what we will do is we will throw the floor open to ask questions, and you can note down the people that you will want the question to be referred to, so that it's not noisy. Is that okay? Yeah. Are we together? So let me start with the deputy chief of staff. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. My name is Boy Gashiro, deputy chief of staff to the Department of Legal State. It's really um, an honor to be here. And I, I appreciate all of you seated here, like all Nigerians and Nigerians. They're not diaspora. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. My name is Dr. Oranu Afini, and I'm the special advisor to Mr. Governor Rajdi Sawu on Sustainable Development Goals. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. Good evening, all. Uh, first, uh, let me, before I introduce myself, let me uh, just uh, do some uh, apologies. When I was coming from Lagos, nobody told me it was going to be this close. <laughs> <laughs> like I did the last time I came here, I brought some sunshine. Oh, <laughs> we're we're going 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 show. I'm commissioner for information and strategy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Boyega Akoshi. I'm the 
the spokesman for the Governor of Lagos States. Good evening, everyone. My name is Beatrice Harebe. I am the Senior Advisor to the Governor on Tourism, Arts and Culture. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Okay. Um, thank you, Jamie. You didn't introduce yourself. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, hi. So, well, this is a great opportunity to introduce myself and also give um, sincere appreciation and gratitude to Governor Papaji Day Sawalu. So, before I arrive here, um, on board the flight, I picked up my letter of appointment. Um, for the past three, four years, I've been working hard with members of the executive um, team and also Dr. Sawulu and the head of service at Kimberly Okola and also um, Mr. Boliago right now. And we've set up the Lagos State Office of Diaspora Affairs. Um, this is a big thing. It's very, very big. I want to thank Mr. Governor Babajide Sawalu for actually giving us the opportunity. So I've been named the executive assistant and the head of the Lagos State Office of Diaspora Affairs. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Congratulations, Jamie. We are so proud of you. Before, before, can we give you a round of applause? We are very, very proud of you. Jamie is one of us. He has been an executive of Kalu, Central Institution of Nigeria in the United Kingdom. He has been an executive of Nido, Nigeria in the Diaspora, UK. So we are very, very privileged and very, very thankful to His Excellency for giving us that honor. Now, we don't, because of time, we may not be able to do the introduction of everybody because I know that that would take a lot of our time. Am I, am I in order with that? Or you want everybody to be themselves? Okay, so what we are going to do, you don't need to tell us your date of birth, <laughs> or the bank details, or where you live. If you can just do a short 30 seconds introduction about yourself, what that will do, and it's, this is a networking event, we're here to gather for networking and conviviality. So if you can, if you want to pitch yourself, pitch yourself, just introduce yourself very, very um, clearly in such a way that your introduction will be memorable. Will be memorable. So I'm going to myself last. I'm going to start with my sister. Don't give the mic to the next person. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, all principal of Zan. I am Michel Ruayinka, Akintoe, British Empire Mega Owner. I am a junior colleague to my brother here from National Nigerian Institute of Journalism. And my brother also runs Lagos Horizon, she's a photo journalist. And she was a Lagos Minister of Information and General Secretary, and she's also very really supporting us here. I'm here to represent the Maritime Volunteer Services. I am the trustee of the Maritime UK, and we're talking about seas and ocean and everything else. And Lagos is sat on an island, so we're looking forward to bringing boats and coming to do some training for the skippers and all the people that will be helping us move from one um, seashore to the other um, shore. And I also represent so Church of England. So love is coming from everywhere for our governor today and to all your representatives from Parliament to. Um, to Marisan. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Adipunia Tetola. I'm a member of APC UK. I'm also a director of the Construction Limited. I have a joint venture with Lagos State for about $10 million, which hopefully will take off this year. I have a local vehicle for some good. And um, I hope to talk to some people about it before I leave. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I can see that the introduction is going to be forever. <laughs> so, should we do it like this? Should we do the intro and the question? Yes. Because that way, we'll be more productive. 
So if you want to ask any question, at least you've met all of them. If you want to ask any question, I will now throw it open. So you introduce